all right welcome back so today i'm going to share with you this topic about email marketing and have you ever used any email marketing for your business if you do not have it is time to do so because email marketing is very effective especially when it comes to saving costs for your business especially when you able to put in one dollar you can generate 42 dollars back that is about 4200% ROI and do you know that in the world population there are over 4 billion users using email as their mode of communication daily that is half of the world population and that's why if you want to really grow your business it's time to have an email marketing strategy in place to build out your email list so that you can try to sell more product or services to your subscribers and today in this video i'm going to share with you the rules of what makes a good email marketing okay that means there are certain rules of how to write a good email okay now i'll go through one by one rule number one is whenever you write an email to your subscribers be it new or existing you want to build a relationship with them so that's why you need to write to only one person Imagine you are writing an email to a friend. Would you address your friend as Hi everyone, hey everybody or would you address it as Hi Alan, hi Jack, hi John because let's say for example if your recipient receive your email they will tend to open your email if it addressed to their name personally and that is the key to human psychology behaviors so let's say if you really want to build a relationship with your email subscribers you have to write to only one person that is the rule next rule number two is to tell stories now the reason why telling stories makes a good email marketing is because stories are new very different nobody can duplicate because every person has their own stories to tell so it's very unique and tend to trigger an emotional connection that means it triggers their senses to let them feel you can even write a good story to tell about the problems that most people are facing and maybe you can agitate them with their emotions to trigger their response to make them feel that they have to quickly act now before it's too late so that's why if you want to write a good email writing right you need to tell a good story doesn't matter you want to tell a story at the middle part of the story or you want to tell the beginning as long as you are telling a good story people can relate to your stories if they share the same problems with you rule number three is to always give value there is a reason why your subscribers subscribe to your email list because they want to find out more information from your business they want to know what are you offering they are interested in your product or services that's why they want to subscribe to your email list so by giving value what i mean is you have to keep on nurturing them email them regularly by providing those educational based content to address what is the current problem that they are currently facing so that they will feel understood that you are actually trying to solve their problems so by giving more value they will be more looking forward to your future emails instead of unsubscribe your email list now rule number four is to sell the click it means that you have to have a clear call to action now let's say for example if you write a good story in your body paragraph and also a good subject line but at the end if there's no call to action your subscribers wouldn't know what to do next so that's why if you really want to trigger certain actions from your subscribers you have to have a clear call to action by asking them to click here to find out more click here to learn more click here to attend this free webinar that is very very crucial if you want to sell them the click and triggers and actions from them 
Rule number five is to always create curiosity and benefit driven. This is something that is very crucial because if you want to attract your subscribers to click on your email link, you need to generate curiosity. You need to let them feel the eagerness to find out what is this product that you're selling. Okay, so that you can trigger their curiosity to find out more. And of course, every subscribers where before they want to click on your link, they want to know what are the benefits that your product or solution is able to benefit them before they even want to click on your link. Having this curiosity and benefit driven be in your subject line or your body content or your PS, it tends to increase your open rate and click through rate as well. So that's why if you want to have a good email writing to nurture and build long lasting relationship with your subscribers, you need to implement this five rules. I hope this video will be beneficial for you to give you an understanding of what makes a good email writing so that you can continue to build a relationship and nurture your existing or new subscribers so that you can sell more product or solutions to them. And if you enjoy this video, please remember to click on the subscribe button below and leave me a comment and let me know what kind of new topics that you are interested with so that I can produce more of this video just to benefit you. Well, that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.